Okay, so let's talk about Colonel Baker because we've been walking through his field for a long time now. Well, the whole the whole tour is through his field. So there is over on the uh, Rabobank Convention Center, there's a historic plaque that says that this is the site of Colonel Baker's home. Um, we've been working John Codd, who's a treasure for the Historical Society. We've talked to several people and we think that the, well, we believe that the home, Colonel Baker's home, was in this area, uh, 19th and M, 20th and M, this type of area, because there's water that was coming up a canal right here. So this is his original homestead. So anybody could have planted alfalfa, but Colonel Baker offered something important, and that was it was corralled. And the horses that you were using would not run off and join the wild horses that were in the mountains around here. And that's why people were stopping. And there were places like this all over the Western United States. Um, so let me read some of the stuff to you. Okay, uh, no, 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 no. Colonel Baker moved to Bakersfield in 1863 to the settlement of Kern Island. And they tethered, no, 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 okay. And began reclaiming swamp land, laying out irrigation ditches and encouraged settlement by giving away the land. In 1869, he laid out the original town site, uh, what we use today, in a grid pattern with streets five rods wide and streets 16 rods long. One rod is five and a half yards or 16 and a half feet and is useful for a length of measurement uh, when whole numbers are used for it. So a perfect acre is 40 rods by four rods. That's the, the word. An acre is therefore 160 square rods. Um, let's see what else we have here. The first house was Tommy Fitzgerald's Thule House. Sometime in 1874, Ellen Baker had it torn down and hauled to an open field near Central Park. Central Park is obviously that way, uh, and burned. The second house was Chris, Christian Bon, bon how do you say it? Bona. Bona. See, everyone's shouting out the names. I like that. Uh, it was a sod and Thule roofed house. Why? Why, why sod? It's cooler, see? Yeah, we're, we're thinking. Uh, located next to Fitzgerald's broken down reed and pole hut, purchased by Colonel Baker for $200, including the land, which was, of course, 160 acres. Uh, the homestead was on the north side of the present day 19th Street, adjacent to the trail. The third house was Thomas Baker's board and batten framed four room house, built across M Street on 19th. The, uh, I, I, randomly doing this, I found that, I think it's 1872 is when the city renumbers the streets. So if you're, people go, oh, that's the old thing. No, that's, it. you're good if you do some modern research. Um, let's see where I'm at. 19th Street was the main, main road between San Francisco and Los Angeles. And the only place to stop and set their stock out to pasture was naturally Colonel Baker's Field. Uh, fourth house was a two-story home connected to the frame house in 1866, facing 19th at M Street. This became the Fernand Augustus Tracy house after he married Ellen Baker Oops, in 1875. That home was destroyed by, in the Great Fire of 1889. There's a fifth house as well, and we'll get to that a little bit later. So... Changing subject, across the street is Pioneer, what was, which all of us, most of us knew, is Pioneer Mercantile. It lasted for 100 years. It had stores all over the valley. Um, I, it looks like they're using it as a carpet warehouse. I made the mistake of Googling Ace's Warehouse, because you can see down there, that end of the building says Ace's on it. And they sell like bongs and <laughs> I, I mean, just random weird stuff. And I'm like, what? 